Hello everyone, welcome back to another 3 Minutes and 3. Today we're going to talk about business savvy. So business savvy, it, you hear this term tossed around a lot in business um, and you know the definition of it, uh, you know, it can get watered down here and there. Mm -hmm. uh, but what I want to talk about business savvy today is about how it's not always just something you're born with. A lot of people feel like they can't run a business because they don't have, they were not born to run a business or, mm -hmm. you know, maybe they don't have the right stuff, mm -hmm. right, to run a business. Um, you know, I started life, I've always been fairly interested in being an entrepreneur um, in my life, but I didn't start that way. I started that way just working a standard job. You know, I was doing heating and air conditioning, never really had any interest in being the boss. Yeah, I, I just I didn't really care. I wanted a good pay for a good day's worth of wage, and I wanted to go home and I wanted to have my weekends free, right? Like that was my thing. That's all I cared about. Mm -hmm. um, and then later on, it was actually Jessica who started our That's business. Your you're, you're passing over one thing. Our very first try at entrepreneurship was farming, and we, yeah, farming. we took a year oh. off of HVAC <laughs> to give it a try. Uh, spent several grand on farming equipment and made four hundred dollars for the year. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm not a great farmer <laughs> Yeah, and so you know, so Jessica actually kicked this whole thing off She she's always been very inclined to kind of just wanting to be more entrepreneurial You know, you, you've never she hasn't really worked any jobs except for uh, mm -hmm. The one time at the North Pole where I met her and I mm -hmm. snatched her up from that It was like a summertime mm -hmm. job type yep. deal for her and you know, but I've worked all my life right uh, most for an employer yes for my life for an employer of some kind okay and so therefore again i didn't kind of have that business savvy and she kind of proposed selling some things on ebay at the time and i'm like ebay <laughs> i'm like that sounds like a scam mm -hmm. right like originally i just thought okay you do a certain amount of hours you get a certain amount of pay mm -hmm. that's it there's like really like nothing else for a guy of my stature right mm -hmm. my stature um and so again, for me, business savvy was kind of learned. It was learned. It was a process of learning for yeah. both of us, experience. right? So mm -hmm. from experience, it wasn't a natural occurrence. Right. Now, obviously, there's that one young hustler that you see out there that, you know, from the age of four, they're trying to sell you a lollipop, <laughs> right? Like, yes, there's some naturally inclined people mm -hmm. towards business and sales and, and they're gifted mm -hmm. in, in, in that way. But don't let that discourage you from running a business. Yes, you can too run a business. Mm -hmm. You can have a successful business. You could have a seven figure a year business mm -hmm. and teach yourself to get there. Yeah. Yeah. In some cases, it's going to come from just the pure experience of try mm -hmm. trial and error. And in other cases, you know, you can search out those who are successful in the market that you're in and study what they do, watch them like a hawk, you know. Yep. It's even, I've even. Not mimic this. their products, but mimic their paths to success. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So, you know, there's a lot of things that you can do to become, right? Mm -hmm. Business savvy, if you will. In 20 years from now, somebody will be like, wow, you're the, just the greatest, smartest business person on the face of this earth. And you're like, yeah, I was for, you know, yes, I have been, you mm -hmm. know, but I what didn't start that way. So that's it for this three minutes at three. Thank you for joining us. And as always, God bless you. And we'll catch you on the next one.